Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Allen Gray, and we're bringing you another knowledge-filled episode of Science Shoe Porn. Now, today, we're going to talk about energy return, specifically how it relates to shoes. Now, very recently, Adidas introduced its Boost Foam, which is supposed to improve your ability to run and jump by having the foam have better energy return. Now, who wouldn't want that? Just by strapping on a shoe, you can run better or jump higher? Sounds really great, but does it really work? Most energy return foams are tested like this, by bouncing a weighted ball off the foam. Doesn't look like how our foot moves in a shoe, right? Well, at Helux, we like to use demos to show what we learned from real world testing. This basketball test shows what we have found from energy return shoes, that they can help increase vertical movements like jumping, which is pretty awesome, right? Here we can see that Seth jumps pretty high on flat ground. But when we compare it to jumping on a trampoline, he's gonna jump much higher. Again, this is what our research and research from other labs have found from testing energy return foams. Therefore, if you're a basketball or volleyball player looking to improve your jumping, you should definitely consider the benefits that an energy return foam can provide you. Well, what about running? When you run, you're not going straight up and down, you're going forward. Watch what happens when we bounce the balls in a forward motion off the trampoline or just the flat ground. There's not going to be very much distance gained from the trampoline. Here we see Seth running at an 8 minute pace and a constant effort across the ground. Now what I want you to look at is how long his stride is when he runs off the trampoline with its energy return, and when we compare that to just running off flat ground with no supposed energy return. You can see that his stride length is almost identical. And this demo shows what we've learned from our real world testing that energy return foam isn't going to improve your running or your walking. If you're going to be hiking, walking, jogging, or running, energy return foam probably isn't going to do very much to help improve your performance. But there are other aspects about shoes that can help you maximize the energy that you're putting into the ground. And that can be something like the traction on the bottom of the shoe, or even something as simple as how flexible the front part of the shoe is. Now, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this stuff, let us know in the comments below and we can make some future Science Shoe, Shoe Porn videos about it. Now, thank you guys again for watching this episode of Science Shoe Porn. And remember, if Helux has tested your shoes, they kick ass.